Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison here, the LG G3 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. The Galaxy Note 3 is my baby, it's my main phone, and uh, I'm probably going to upgrade it pretty soon to Note 4, and iPhone 6, or something interesting, uh, because I, I need it, I need it, but... Um, Let's do a quick little comparison here uh, with the G3 boy uh, because they are very, very identical in many, many, many areas, especially like the size, they're almost exactly identical here. Uh, but the Note boy here is a little bit bigger. Uh, the Note is 5.7 inch, my main phone here, my baby. Uh, and it has like Fox letter back here, which was an interesting move from Samsung. Uh, they actually did stop doing already in the Galaxy S5. Uh, definitely the G3 feels a lot more premium feeling here, but the, the Note 3 with the Fox letter back is not actually that bad. Uh, the button layout, of course, on the G3, that uh, volume up and down keys, and a power button in the middle, which is interesting. Uh, a little bit weird sometimes when you wanna turn it off, sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable, uh, but overall it works pretty good. Uh, so, uh, let's uh, check out some specs here, so you get the true HD IPS uh, display here uh, on the um, on the G3, uh, so it's a quad HD resolution, 1440 that's 2560, uh, it's nice, the display is extremely nice and I can't wait to see that on future Samsung devices, uh, you can really really see a pixel difference uh, that it is very very sharp, especially on pictures and I definitely might do uh, more videos uh, comparing that side by side, but it's really, really intense and I really, really do enjoy it. Uh, but overall, it might not be a major thing, but I definitely want to put HD in my future phone. Uh, I like how um, how thin the edges and stuff are uh, with the, uh, the G3. It really, really looks nice. Uh, the uh, Note 3, of course, has this OMLED display, uh, which also looks amazing. Uh, and I don't really really like the dark colors uh, with this display here. Uh, 5.7 inch display versus 5.5 inch. 30 megapixel shooter here uh, on both these two devices. And of course the the LG phone has this uh, laser, uh, the, this laser autofocus on the back which is so insane. And the LG's camera is so good. I mean, the, I really... Uh, I really don't enjoy my uh, my Note 3 when I take pictures many times because uh, when I when I take pictures on um, on my screen a lot it looks just weird uh, but with the G3 when I tested it out it's extremely nice uh, very very nice focus super quick with this uh, this uh, laser focus down here at the back so um, you can see that it automatically focuses so quick and it also has a very very nice uh, nice UI here so I really really do enjoy the camera that that's probably a big thing why I would wanna uh, possibly pick the uh, G3 here uh, over the uh, over the Note uh, 3. Another thing here is that you do get the latest Snapdragon 801 inside of this one uh, versus Snapdragon 800 inside of the Note uh, Note 3. And I, start, I started to get m notice that it, it's definitely the Note 3 is definitely slower here when uh, I'm rocking and phone for KitKat. And I also have some battery issues. Uh, the battery goes and drains very, very quick, which is definitely an, an annoying thing. Uh, quad core 2.3 gigahertz, but still, I mean, overall performance is still very good. Uh, with the quad core and it still holds up pretty well here, 2014. Uh, quad core 2.3 GHz, quad core 2.5 GHz. Same kind of GPU here, during 330, so a lot of the gaming is gonna be pretty similar. Get a little bit bigger battery life here though, uh, 3200 milliamps, but as I said, I've been having, and a lot of other people have also been having problems uh, with battery life uh, in, inside of the latest, uh, latest little update. I can't wait to see the next generation, uh, uh, next generation, what is it called? The Note phone. I uh, definitely want to have some premium. Of course, you have the S Pen. I rarely, rarely use it, but uh, it it's definitely could be a good addition uh, if you want to draw something or something like that. Uh, I definitely do enjoy that creative aspect. 
uh, it's nice. Uh, so what it, what are the main reasons here why I want to have this one? Well, the display is nice. Uh, the display is definitely quite nice. Uh, but the, in terms of processor, I wouldn't. That's not a major deal for me. Uh, but the Quad HD display and uh, uh, the thirty megapixel camera, which is with the laser focus. That's the key reasons here. Maybe also the premium feeling that it feels a little bit more premium. That can definitely be a go uh, with uh, the G3. Uh, but other than that, I mean, there's not really like so much next generation stuff. Uh, of course, they look a little bit different here. We have the LG, uh, LG's own UI, of course, uh, buttons built in here to the, uh, to, into the display. So the display actually becomes a little bit smaller because of that, of course, uh, while the Note have uh, the buttons outside here. So um, you get so much screen here. Uh, but uh, yeah, just a quick little video, talking a little bit about specs and stuff like that, my own opinions. I'm still gonna rock this one a little bit. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward though, to the next uh, Note phone, like a Note 4, that could definitely be nice. So uh, which one is your pick? That is a good question. Peace out.